This episode is sponsored by Skillshare. Stagmer, and we are the blacksmiths of Baltimore Knife and Sword. We're going to be building some of your favorite things and fantastic objects you've never seen before. This is Man at Arms, Reforged. Today on Man at Arms, we're going to be building the spear long genus from Evangelion. Obviously, we are not going to make it the size of a skyscraper, but we will make it pretty big. Derek and Ellen will be forging this. They'll forge the spear points out, and then they'll make that big helix spiral you see that tapers down to the very tip. Once that's completed, we'll get it out in the testing and do some real damage here on Man at Arms. Starting with long one inch bars of 1045, Ellen and Derek forge out the spearheads. Later on, they'll be tapering the ends out before we attach them and twist the entire sections together. rather than taking the time to forge the direct angle, you can hot cut the tip. You go to the power hammer, you take one of these straight bars, drive it down, and it just clips the tip right off. Both irons in the fire, they continue to work through this pair. Ellen's going to take them to the power hammer and keep drawing it out. Derek's going to be there to straighten the piece before it goes back into the fire. Pieces like this that are long and thin and have to match, it's always helpful to keep them as straight as possible. Using a hardy tool and a bending bar, they're going to be able to put the kink left and right into these bars. That's right where the helix is going to be, and then the rest of the material will be tapered out and twisted up tight. Derek and Ellen are going to go to the hammer and they're going to taper these long bars. They can work them square, and they can drive them back round. We're going to have to get this long taper done so that the tips can be welded. Once they're welded, we'll bring the entire thing up to temperature and begin the twist.
the bars are now drawn out the length, the taper has to be pretty even, or when these pieces are assembled, they won't twist the same and it'll keep the piece from straightening. So Ellen and I have uh, taken some one inch round bars and we've turned it into these long sinuous bars. Next up on this, we're gonna twist it. So we've put in some braces to help us twist it. It's welded in a couple places. Uh, we're building a big stabby moon fork. Ideally, we don't knock out the film crew. You know, we're the propane tanks. 100% <laughs> OSHA proof. <laughs> <laughs> Let's twist it. Using the fly press as a giant vise, Ellen and Derek now begin the twist. They'll have to go back and grab the heat a couple of times, even in the same place to make sure things are tight before they move on to the next section. Between heats, Ellen takes the hammer and straightens this. If we don't do that as we go, it'll begin to corkscrew and be very difficult to fix at a later date. After putting all the pressure on to create the twists, Derek's now going to go in with a torch, heat up certain areas, and straighten it. The tines of the blades basically have to mirror each other, and they have to be straight. He'll get that done before we take this thing apart and finish it out. Derek goes into the Bader Sanders. 50% of the job is just trying to keep an eye on where the end of the spear is. Not only has he got to be up on the grinding wheel, but he's got to watch the lights in the ceiling at the same time. Derek now begins to get color on the spear. Once the paint dries, we can flip it over and finish it out. We'll be able to get it outside and see how it handles.
We want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's episode. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. There are a lot of great topics to choose from. Film and video, design, blacksmithing. Illustration is one of the things that interests me the most because I'll have an idea in my head, but I won't have a way to show it to my customer without creating it in steel first. Jezza Brooks has a class that really interests me where he teaches sketching. If I can take the idea from my mind, put it on a piece of paper, I can send it to my customer, get them excited, and make that sale. It's curated for learning, meaning there are no ads, and they're always adding new premium classes. You'll be able to stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. It's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. This holiday season, give the gift that means more. Learn how to make that perfect handmade gift with Skillshare's online classes. The first 1,000 subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial premium membership to explore their creativity. Click here to subscribe or click here to see more episodes. Thanks for watching Man at Arms Reforged. We need to know what you want the team to build. Tell us in the comments below what you would like to see.